Stakeholders dealing in women economic empowerment initiatives have called upon women to formalize their businesses by accessing financial literacy, adopting digital infrastructure and skilling in order to address empowerment gaps. They say it is high time women broke social norms in order to have stable finances. While officiating at the Uganda Bank Association Economic Empowerment Forum, the Minister of Gender, Laban Social Development, Bet Amongi, expressed worry over the slow adoption of financial digitization among women, saying only 7% of the total women have voluntarily opened up bank accounts, something that hinders business accountability. The global economy is skewed against women. And I'm glad that the World Bank has now been supporting women through government to close this gap and in Uganda we now have a World Bank grant of 217 million dollars which we, we call growth and opportunities for women entrepreneurs to support women in business and I know there are banks that have already applied to ensure that they support my ministry and government to lend that money to women. But even that will give a new condition, will give you condition on the interest rate so that you do not take to the market this grant at the same interest rate that the bank charges. I have already seven banks. Amongi adds that to break social norms, women have to create path to promote financial stability by bridging gaps in both soft and hard aspects when joining businesses must deal with social norms and discrimination that continues to leave women behind and laws that restrict women working, economic empowerment, access to credit must be dealt with and women must be facilitated to own assets. And this is again where I find sometimes the educated women are regressing and local women are doing better. Because you have your money instead of buying land, investing, and doing all sorts of things, you are fearing. The UNDP resident representative to Uganda, Aosi Atafua, however, says despite all efforts, there are a number of barriers hindering women empowerment that include investment gaps and poor marketing systems. There is so much, but there is so little. There's a lot of wealth but that's just poverty. We're still importing poverty and exporting our wealth. Why are young Ugandans and Africans still wanting for greener pastures? And yet people are coming to Africa for greener pastures. There must be something that we can do. As we speak, there is a number of um, females seated at the lower ranks of our banking industry. And we believe with this forum, and one of the key pillars being uh, leadership and empowerment, we should be able to see our female leaders um, ascend to higher level top executive roles within the bank. According to the Ministry of Gender, the world loses over 160 trillion US dollars in wealth due to differences in employment opportunities between women and men. Henry Mugenyi, Catherine Nakato, NBS, Live at Nine. Mukono District Business Community have